Hey fellas, how are we doing today? Alright, so today I'm gonna do a quick video on how to install an hazard light switch in your motorcycle if it doesn't have one. Just like this one, it's an RC390 and uh, you know, I've got a toggle switch over here. So what happens is that when you flip it, all the four indicators are gonna be blinking at the same time. Alright, so there are a couple of things you're gonna need for this setup I've got over here. So you're gonna need a piece of wire, uh, 2 meter is just fine and uh, you're gonna need an insulation tape, a wire stripper and you're gonna need a toggle switch just like this one 2 pin or 3 pin is just fine and uh, you can find it at any local automobile store automobile or any electronic store okay so you can see over here and uh, you're gonna need this uh, aftermarket flasher okay so this one is also available at any local automobile store so this is a 2 pin connector and you're gonna need thimbles just like this one I've already put it over here so let me just put it right over here this is the thimble this wire is gonna look like okay so this one is gonna go into here and this end you're gonna put wires over here so uh, also you're gonna need these uh, PN junction diodes they are also available at any local electronic store okay so this is what a PN junction diode looks like okay you might have studied about him and uh, what happens is that uh, this diode only allows current to flow in one direction only okay from this end to this end okay so it's not gonna allow current to flow in reverse direction okay so this is the negative end this is the positive end okay remember the silver end is the negative end okay so what we're going to do is uh, these two dies I've got over here you're just going to short circuit the positive ends just like this one this black ends okay so let me just this is the setup you're gonna do okay so this what is gonna look like alright so let's get back to the motorcycle so you're gonna have to take off the rear seat and uh, let me just take it off so there's a small bolt right over here I've already took it off and uh, when you take it off it's gonna slide right off okay so uh, beneath the seat you're gonna find a female connector just like this one okay so uh, this one is a female connector for some aftermarket flashes available in the market okay I mean uh, I could have used one of them but uh, you know there are too many complications and uh, they are bloody expensive you know bottom line is I don't like them okay so uh, the thing is uh, we're only interested in these two wires this green one and the gray one okay the second one and the third one from the left okay you can see right over here let me just zoom on it okay so this green one and the gray one okay so the green one goes to the right indicators and the gray one goes to the left indicators okay so what we're going to do is you're gonna get your diode this is the setup you have initially done and uh, you're gonna put them right into the gray one and the green one okay like this one okay make sure it fits all the way in here this is just a female connector and it's supposed to go right into it all right it's in there and uh, you can see now on this end you're gonna just mount a wire okay let me just get the wire it's okay as it is I'm going to just spin it around tighten up real nice and uh, you might want to apply an uh, insulation tape over here like this one real nice okay nice and easy okay so you're just going to spin it around and you might want to apply insulation tape right over here the purpose of doing this is though so that uh, these diodes don't uh, slide right out okay all right so you're done over here now what i'm going to do is this single wire you've got you're gonna go uh, put it right beneath the fuel tank and it's gonna go all the way to this handlebar this toggle switch all right so you can see right over here you're gonna just put your rear seat back on and let's put this on you can slide this wire right here and it's gonna go all the way beneath your fuel tank cover and it's gonna come right over here on this end okay and you can see I've already got the wire over here okay so we're done with the rear seat you can just slide it over okay you just mount the bolt over here there's one bolt over here okay so the second part is 
you're gonna need to remove the side panel, the left side panel, okay? Out the bolts, just this crash guard is okay. So, here we are. So, this is what your uh, stock flasher looks like. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna replace it with the flasher that we got from a uh, local automobile store. Okay, this one now, before you do that, you might want to peel off this orange wire okay there are three wires over here the middle one is negative the gray one is uh, I think it's uh, 12 volt potential wire and this one is the wire that we're interested in okay so the one wire we've already got beneath up uh, from beneath our seat and one wire we're gonna obtain from here and we got two wires we got one switch we can do the math okay so let me just show you right here you can just use this wire stripper and uh, you're gonna just peel it off nice and easy don't cut it off okay you're gonna have a real time then putting it back on just like this okay you can see now okay so you can just grab your other wire and you can just put it right over here You know, I could have used just uh, those aftermarket flashes, but uh, you know, there are too many complications and uh, you know, I don't, I just, I don't understand those. Okay, so you can just put uh, insulation tape over here. Alright, we're done. And we're gonna apply our aftermarket flasher. So here's our aftermarket flasher that we got. And we're just gonna put him right into the outer pin. Okay, we're not gonna use the middle pin. It's gonna go right in here, nice and easy. Okay, as you can see, it's in there. You can just put it right over here. This rubber comes along with it. It's gonna go right over here. So you can see our setup is ready. And uh, you know, you can see this is the number one wire. And the number two is coming beneath from the seat that the setup we did earlier and uh, these two wires are connected to this toggle switch okay i've mounted the switch using a piece of aluminium and uh, let me just turn the ignition on and as you can see we got our hazard light here you can see okay if this setup doesn't work out that probably uh, means that uh, these two wires they have been connected in the wrong pattern if that doesn't work out okay if the, your uh, blinkers are blinking continuously or doesn't blink at all just reverse the polarity okay so let me show you uh, what might go wrong okay so if you reverse the polarity let me just uh, show you for the sake of this video just give it a few more spins it's gonna go into the right nice and easy so as you can see no flash okay so here's what's gonna happen okay if that happens you can see there's no flash uh, if that happens you can just reverse the flash okay chances are it's gonna be blinking continuously or there are no blinks at all here we go all right so it's in there and we got our blinks see all the four blinkers are blinking continuously and if you can turn them off you can just turn off the toggle switch and your indicators are working just fine you can see this is the left one and uh, now it's gonna be the right one and if you turn your toggle switch while you're running the indicators both are gonna be blinking you can just turn your indicator off okay so this is the setup you can do okay you can put the panel back on you know you can apply some insulation tape over here let me just do it right here okay so you can see over here I've already applied the tapes you can see and this thing has a perfect fit you know no need to do any other kind of modifications and as you can see we got ourselves a hazard light all right so you can put the back seat on and uh, you're gonna put your side panels on 
and uh, everything's just gonna go back into the original place and we're done with it okay so this is the setup we have done and uh, the reason we have replaced this uh, stock flasher with the aftermarket is uh, uh, that this uh, stock flasher it won't work okay uh, I mean I've tried you can barely see the lights blinking okay yeah. Yes, uh, and uh, another thing a lot of people wanted to ask was uh, how do I turn uh, headlights on when the bike isn't moving or the engine is turned off okay so it's pretty simple as you can see I've done it the bike is turned off but the both headlights are on you can see both high beam and low beam so I'm gonna show you how to do that if you take out your left panel you're gonna find this uh, headlamp unit beneath it right over here it's gonna look something like this so this is basically a relay that activates the headlamp okay so I'm gonna show you how to bypass it okay we're simply gonna remove it okay so there are two connectors okay we're gonna remove both of them okay we don't need this anymore you can throw it out okay so there are two connectors we don't need this blue one you can just tape it off and the other red connector I've chopped off the wires as you can see this connector right here you know we don't need it anymore okay I've just joined the two wires with each other that's it simple as done okay you're gonna tape it real nice I'm gonna do it right now as you can see okay so that no water gets inside tape it real nice all over it that's it you know so what happens is that uh, for this relay to get activated your bike either has to be get moving or the engine has to be started up so right now we have just bypassed that system and we don't need this anymore all right so it's done that's it just put it in there and you're good to go so this is the headlamp unit we don't need it anymore and uh, now that we've done it you can see the headlights are on without starting the bike even the primary lights are turning on now okay so yeah that's pretty much everything you need to know and uh, there's uh, one more mod I like to share with you guys you see this blue light it gets turned on only when the bike is in neutral or you press the clutch so as you can see right now the bike is in neutral so when I as soon as I put it in gear can I turn it further yep so as you can see I'm pressing the clutch over here I don't know where I get these ideas you know I just love to do this thing and this one is brake when you, whenever you press the brake it's gonna light up you know I love this thing you know at night rides so yeah uh, that's pretty much you need to know about uh, hazard light switch bypassing the headlamp relay and uh, if you have any doubts feel free to comment below I'll be happy to answer okay so thank you for watching guys goodbye